bullseyes. <coughs> Toby the tram engine has cow catchers and side plates. They help to prevent animals getting hurt if they stray onto the line. Daisy thought they were silly. She said Toby was afraid of getting hurt himself. I'm not, said Toby indignantly. You are? I've not got stupid cow catchers, but I am not frightened. I just toot, and they'd all get out of the way. But they don't, said Toby simply. They would with me. Animals always run if you toot and look them in the eye. Even bulls? Even bulls, said Daisy confidently. Daisy had never met a bull, but she purred away quite unconcerned. At the level crossing, cars waited behind gates to let her pass. She tooted at a farm crossing, and a horse and cart halted while she went by. Pooh, she said. It's easy. I just toot, and they all stand aside. Poor little Toby. I am sorry he's frightened. At the next station, a policeman was waiting. There's a bull on the line, he warned them. Please drive it along towards the farmer. Daisy was excited. Now, she thought, I'll show Toby how to manage bulls. Champion wasn't really a fierce bull, but this morning he was cross. They had driven him away before he'd finished breakfast and tried to put him in a cattle float. They pulled him and pushed him, prodded and slapped him, but he wouldn't go. He broke away and trotted down the road. He saw a fence, jumped it, and slithered down a slope. Champion was surprised. This was a new kind of field. It had a brown track at the bottom. But there was plenty of grass on each side, and he was still hungry. <coughs> tooted Daisy. Go on! Champion had his back to her. He was too busy to pay any attention. <coughs> said Daisy again. Champion went on eating. This is all wrong, thought Daisy. How can I look him in the eye if he won't turn round? <coughs> At last, Champion turned and noticed Daisy. <coughs> he said, and came towards her, still chewing. He wondered what she was. <coughs> said Daisy feebly. Why doesn't he run away? The guard and the policeman tried to shoe Champion, but he wouldn't stay shooed. As soon as they turned away, he came back. He was a most inquisitive animal. Go on, Daisy, said her driver. He's harmless. Yes, said Daisy unhappily. You know he's harmless, and A know he's harmless. But does he know? Besides, look at his horns. If I bumped into him, he might hurt uh, them. The farmer wouldn't like that. Champion came close and sniffed at Daisy. Oof, she said, backing hastily. Toby was surprised to find Daisy back once more at the station. The passengers told him about the bull. He chuckled. Bulls always run if you toot and look them in the eye, eh, Daisy? Daisy said nothing. Ah, oh, well, Toby went on. We live and learn. I'd better chase him for you, I suppose. He clanked away. But Champion took no notice of Toby's bell or whistle. He didn't move till Toby whooshed him with steam. Then Toby gently shooed him along the track to where the farmer and his men were waiting. Daisy had an exhausting day. Toby and Percy often met her on their journeys, and though they never mentioned bulls, they gave her pitying looks. It made her so cross. Her last journey ended at the top station. Some boys were on the platform. Suddenly, one of them came running, holding a paper bag. Look, he shouted, I've got a quarter of bull's eyes. I think they're super, don't you? They shared the sweets and sucked happily. Ah, said Daisy, keep your old bull's eyes. She scuttled to her shade. <laughs> <laughs>